Well, it's back for another month. Yes, it is. It's here for another six days, 17 hours. But I'm just about to complete it. And this is the day I open the chest. I'm Admiral Pegasus and this is Star Trek Fleet Command. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, as you can see, the treasury is activated. Yes, it is coming around yet again and we're looking at something interesting. Now, plain and simple, this treasury, um, one of the other content creators, Black Half Dan 8 Gaming, he actually did a video and he did a comparison with this to last month's. I don't have a screenshot of last month's. So, but everything, with the exception of two slots on that top line, but everything else is exactly identical as it was to last month. So we're looking at some pretty juicy stuff. But what we get in this month? What did we get last month? Well, we got ten shards of Hemna, and we also got sixty thousand of the um, event currency. Yeah. So if you was able to unlock that last month, that's what you got. This month, however, I feel is actually a lot more beneficial and it's beautiful because this is potentially, if you didn't have it just balanced just right to do it last month, you certainly should have it this month. Especially if you're doing your battle passes, your mini battle passes, and your 30 day loyalty chests. But this month, as you can see across the side there, we're getting two officers. Finally, the free to play players are actually going to get strike team. Una, yes, or Strange Tuna. Yes, so our battleships are now going to become worth something. And also you're going to get Reginald Barclay as well. And just to quickly click on him, he doesn't have a captain's ability. He is a lower deck officer. He does work in engineering on the next generation. For those who do remember, Lieutenant Commander Broccoli. And he has a 5% to all officer base defense. Wow. That's that's nothing. He's an epic, but that's that's still yeah. And his lower deck ability is a cargo protection. Yes, he is another version of Tapring. Three of eleven, two of eleven. Um, sorry, no, not two of eleven. Sorry, Dupont. Yes, another Joaquin. Is it Joaquin or Joe Quinn? Joe Quinn. So, yes, we have another protection. One of 11. That's the Borg. I knew there was another Borg one. But, that is, yeah, we now have another one to put below deck. Yes. So, what ship are you going to put them on? That's going to be entirely up to you. And then, obviously, we're getting Strange Tuna. Now, she is a good captain as well, in her own right. She increases... Um, the officer's stats each round against explorers by a whopping 130%. Yes. Now, whether this is base, I do not know. But it doesn't say base. Maybe the full description in the recruit tab will actually tell you that. And then, obviously, uh, officer ability, 25% enemy shield mitigation per round against players when in a battleship. So, yes. So, as a captain, she's good as an explorer. Um, when fighting explorers and the best ship to put them in is a battleship and then you've got to get the bonus of the officer round, officer as well so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to showcase her at some point but we'll have to see but anyway this is the first day we're going to be doing the first time I'm going to be doing this so I'm going to show you what to do so the board is ready. 699 kills. Okay, no, not 699, 599. Because obviously I got the last milestone of my dailies as well. And I do apologize, there is no green screen today because it's getting late here in the UK. And I had a bit of a mood swing earlier, so and I just didn't set up. But I still want to do this for the community. Yeah, I had a bit of a 
bit of a rant to a few people this evening, so I, w I wasn't in the best frame of minds until not so long ago when I finally calmed down. So, but anyway, let's crack on. So, we've got one ship left to go. Yes, we have. Now, I need to move my little tab further up. In fact, I tell you what, let's pull it down a little bit because the blue tab here is one we are going to need. Yes. So, I am going to now pick the nearest 33. Remember, when you do kill the hostiles, you can literally kill any red dots. You see all those damaged ships? Yes. I forgo any mining that I have not done today. And I pulled all my ships in to do this. I started off in Federation Space doing a bit of OPC. And as well in there for those mining latinum. And then I moved. I thought... They're not spawning fast enough. I'm traveling right across the system. It's taking too long. And I moved here where I knew for a fact I could get them in a, in a pack and blast them all very quickly. But anyway, so I've killed that final one. And if you've noticed the little treasury below my pastel um, amounts is now turned to unlocked. Yes, it has turned to unlocked. So now let's have a quick look and see what it does. It says open now. Oh, but wait, I can't open it because I do not have a desealing rod. Now, where do I need to go get a desealing rod? Well, I could always go to the store. Yes, the in-app store. This is where a lot of players have been buying their desealing rods lately. Um, let's have a look. There it is. 90 quid for me. Yes, this is based on your ops level. And it, uh, well, in fact, to, to be honest, there's a lot. This could actually go down as far as um, five quid. But... Obviously, the higher the ops level you are, the amount you actually spend in games, say like you buy the battle pass and other features, will affect how much you have to pay for this. I have to spend 90 quid, but what I'm getting in that pack is going to be well worth it. So, where do. So, obviously, I'm not going to buy that, but where do free to play players go? Well, I said I'm going to need the Officers tab, didn't I? So we click in the Officers tab and then click Recruit. What you should see if I'm right, oh yes, right above my head, is the Desealing Rod. Yes, and as you can see there's a little red dot as well telling me it is active, which means I have enough. And if you look across the bar at the top, you'll see I have 4,320 dece broken Desealing Rods, which means I now hit that mark. All I need is 4,000 of them. So which means 320 are going to get carried over. I have another 360 to come from a 28 day chest. I have another 360 coming from my battle pass. Yes, so I'm going to be well on the way. And if these flash passes do keep happening, free to play players can expect a pull roughly approximately every four months. Yes, every four months. That's, a, that's just based on a rough estimate. Because if you think about it in a month, you've got your 30 day chest, 360 in there. You've got your primary battle pass for the month, 360 in there, so you're at 720. Then if the flash pass works, is on, that's th another 360. So that makes you a whopping, what is it? What did I say, 720, 780, 1080. 1000 per month, you only need 4000. Once every four months. Yeah, that's it. So that's a lot better. Now, as well, I will also say, while we, do, I'm just going to click in the orb fragments, if we can just see it as well, the latest round of SLBs for the new um, DS9 crew, I got fourth place. And hence I got 44 shards of Benjamin Cisco. So which means I'm there. Yeah, we get, we're getting there slowly. We're getting there slowly. So I might have him by the end of the month. I've got a further 18 shards to come out of my battle pass. So, okay, so let's get into opening this, shall we? So, got a click in here and obviously one chest down here for 4,000 was going to guarantee you that. So let's do this. So that poor 4,320 is now dropped to 320, but... I now have a desealing rod. Yes, I do. Ooh. So, and how I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to pull it and then show you what I got. Yes. 
Now, it is actually a fairly decent chest, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually happy with it. So, let's go chasing that scout. Yes, so, Claim is the name of the game. And what I'm actually looking forward to as well is that Latinum. 504,000. Now, if before I hit the button, I just want to bring out an interesting little fact for those who've not done the math yet. You know your speed ups? You've got a one day speed up which will cost you 300 Latinum if you don't have any one days. That 5,400, that is 4.6 years. 4.6 years. Yes, a long time. Imagine just how much research you can get through, how much of your base you could upgrade with that, providing you have the materials and the resources. But anyway, so I'm gonna pull it. What? Treasury reward unlocked. Oh, so I I let me reduce my um, image. We here we go down into the bottom corner. So you'll be able to better see what we've got coming up. So we've done a full pull of Barclay. We've done a full pull of Tuna. We've got some optical diodes, which is going to allow us to upgrade our treasury some additional levels. Always a good thing. Latinum. And then you got the par steel, and look how much you're gonna get. You're gonna get 53.2 billion raw. That's well, that's gonna shoot me up a wee bit. 4,200 of the one million, so that's 4.2 billion there in those blue tokens on the far side. This one right here, 53 billion. Ooh, quite a bit and then also you've got some um, titanium and some dilithium Ooh, interesting and then you're going on to the materials yes and obviously because I'm a G4 player I also get G4 materials as well and those materials actually look pretty good I should say I should be able to do at least a couple of um, items to my um, jellyfish. Whether I want to or not, it's another story. Maybe I want to go for some parts of the building. I don't know. I've not not figured it out yet. But I'll tell you one thing I do want is I want that 7,400 crystal to go towards my shipyard. Because I need to get my shipyard up and running. But then again, I also need the gas for my guns. Yes. And we'll have a quick look at how many guns I can get. Now, 7,400 or I'm not quite sure if that's going to be enough to do Ops 42. But we'll have to wait and see. And then obviously a pile of G3. Again, it's, it's good. I will say it is good. But it's not going to get me anywhere near to upgrading the Enterprise. Yeah, to Tier 7. I've got one component left to do. And unfortunately, I need about... I think was it was it three thousand or was it eight thousand? I can't remember which, but it's a hell of a lot of raw, uh, uncommon gas I need. So, oh, there's a there go, there's a bit. Oh, I do apologise. He's like I said, he's late. Well, here we go. So we're going to collect it, and boom, jobs are gone. That's it. The treasury's been pulled. Now I'm going to throw a bit of bonus features in here because I'm actually going to go and pull. So let's see what I can pull in regards to Cisco. Yes, so okay, so we've got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, staff in Starbase, yeah, I'm completely over. I need to write that lot down. So that's something for me to do tomorrow. Now, Cisco, where are we gonna find the first round? Well, the first batch we're gonna find is right here behind me. The Orb of Posterity Recruit. And it's gonna use the, um, the orbs of posterity to do it. So you've got five officers to choose from. So yeah, okay. If I get the full pull of Cisco in potentially what? One, two, three, four chests. Yes, yeah, four pulls we're gonna get. I'll be lucky. But it's only a one percent chance of me chance of me getting that is slim. But like I said, 
I've got 18 coming out of my battle pass. So out of the remaining, what is it, 35, 45 shards? I only actually need to find 29. That's it. And then I can get him by the end of the month. So let's crack, let's just pull him and see what we get. Okay, so we're going to get Miles of Brian for the first chest. Oh, it's going to be one of these ones that kicks you out after every single one. Oh, oh another quark. Lovely, jubbly. Um, do, do, do. Kira. And then... Oh, some more Kira and some more Isola Need Chips. So they're a complete and utter bust. Not one Cisco Shard. How... I'm not happy with that. But that's the way it goes, unfortunately. So, now we'll go over to the other one. And as you saw in the recruit section, yes, we have the orb fragments. Again, I'm going to be able to pull four chests. But I've got a chance of getting Picard, Riker. There's a lot more in here than there is. So, I'm going to be guaranteed four officer shards. Some faction tokens and some officer XP. Um, so the officer shards are going to pay out at 20 to 80 in favor of rares. Woohoo! And there's all the other um, RNG. Yeah. And you can always guarantee you're always going to get the smallest RNG out of this. Uh, so you'll get the biggest RNG, which is the smallest amount. So, okay, chance of effect. Oh, sorry. It's picked equally among all three. Woohoo! So, let's have a go. The first one, then, shall we? <coughs> well, I've got a Picard one, so that's a bonus because that's one towards Picard. So, here goes for the second one. Look, we've got Riker, but we've got another. Um, O'Brien. Ooh. As you notice, I'm not even bothered about the faction credits. And the others, it's just the officers I'm actually looking at. So, oh. Worf and Wesley. Yeah. Alright then. But what do you expect? So, this is the final one we get to pull. Well. One more for Kira, but out of all that, not one Cisco Shard. Not one. Uh, I don't think I'll be getting Cisco this month. But there's always the event store in December. Yes, we know December is going to be the last, so last month, so that's going to be an event store. Get him in there. So. But that's the one thing about these as well. You don't have to worry too much in the first month. Because you can guarantee whatever you're going to get in the first month will be in the event store. The second month will be in the event store. The third month's when it gets tricky because is that an event store or is it just another month? We know full well that this is going to be an ordinary month. So the third month, any offices in there, again, will be in the event store. So eventually we'll be able to do it. We will. I will get Cisco by the end of the year. That's no questions. So anyway... This has been the treasury and bonus officer pulls. Woohoo! <laughs> it's time for me to go to bed. And I wish you all a good night. Sleep tight. And I shall see you on the next video. I've been Admiral Pegasus. And this has been Star Trek Fleet Command Treasury Unlocked. Live long and prosper. Good night.